Hey guys Welcome back I'm back I am back Finally I am back guys I hope you guys are having a good day Here the sun is shining I'll be back in a minute. Right now I'm just monitoring his stream. How is this going? I don't know. Um Okay, it seems good. Troy was considered a myth before Frank Calvert found it, and Heinrich Schliemann stole credit for it. If we ever get to reveal this, I wonder who we'll give the credit to. Just when I think I've got a hand on the precursors, someone new shows up. At least Alethea seems to be no friend to Juno. I still can't believe I wasn't on the team that took her down. I could have stopped... Victoria's right. Blaming myself is useless. But toss feek, Otzelberg. You're gonna pay for betraying Charlotte. One artery at a time. There is a puzzle that we have to solve. So, uh, I have something to do quickly guys, sorry for the delay. Uh, we had a puzzle here. No, this is the f That one is the first, this is the second. The third one. Huh? No, somehow it must be here. This one.
such a bright light. Its presence cannot be an accident. Wow. I, I don't know how I did. <laughs> I have no idea how I did. I really have no idea. It was so random. Nothing, nothing, nothing. What? True knowledge exists. In knowing that you know nothing. Oh my god. Wow. A good friend told me that once. It's possible. What? Yes, I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icaros is long gone. I've been searching for you, but you can't. It's... <laughs> you weren't really looking for me, were you? It works! The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions, Leila. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you, and put an end to what I started many centuries ago. I have your spear. Would you like it back? Oh. No. You can keep it. It's broken. But... you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Erothotos could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. Oh no. I... I have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. The staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the Templar Order. Listen to me. Order, chaos. If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist Order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many wars. I have seen too many people die. I've traveled from one end of the earth to the other. This belongs to you now. Oh no. Then he will die. Promise me one thing. Anything. 
When you are done, destroy it. Destroy them all. There's so much of the story I haven't seen. I should go back to the Animus and visit Alexios again. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Vanavas. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world. It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis exists. Incredible. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. I'll tell you someday. It's too complicated for small talk. It's not me, is it? I've proven I'm very competent. I'm exhausted, Varnavas. And ignore him. When you're ready, I'm all ears. I need every last detail. It's all right. But none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word. But the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. We've learned a lot, haven't we? You know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we have. For all we know, anything's possible. And you would know. As the eagle-bearing demigod you are, <laughs> perhaps he too is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget.
Lamb, you made it. I trust the seas were favorable? Poseidon might be the only one not trying to kill me. And did you go to Thera? Did you find him? I did. What did he tell you? He told me where I'm from. And where I must go. So now you know the truth. I'm not his son. I'm just a weapon. That is the furthest thing from the truth. You were brought into this world with love. I never imagined we'd stand on Spartan soil together again. As much as I curse this place for what it did to us, it feels more like home than Cephalonia ever did. Sparta is our home, but we'll have to rid ourselves of the puppet king if we are ever to find peace. Whatever happened to our old house? Nikolaos stayed after I left, but now that he's gone, I don't know. Why don't we go find out? Of course. But first, there's something I want to show you. <laughs> Let's go. How far I ran, I never could escape them. Did you put memories of us in that box? This is where I first trained you to use your spear. Hesitation only hastens the grave. <laughs> you remembered. How do you think I got this far? We had to pry that spear from your hand while you slept. You said you needed it to fight the monsters in your dreams. I couldn't face Cerberus empty-handed. Those children will be ripped to shreds. We should help them. Alexios, wait. You shouldn't interfere. This is Spartan training territory. I can't stand here doing nothing. I'm going to help them. I'm sorry I yelled. I was angry. I didn't mean to. He died with honor. His death was unnecessary. What are you doing here? I was passing by when the wolves attacked these boys. But they're Spartans in training, so I let them handle things on their own. He lies. He fought the wolves. Clearly wanting glory for himself. You've interfered with Spartan law and lied about it. There's more honor in that dead boy's heart. 
You should return to where you came from. Are you all right? What happened? I couldn't just stand by and watch. The Aho Yi is what turns boys into men, and soldiers into Spartans. You have only made them weaker by interfering. What good are they to anyone if they're dead? Alexios, please. This isn't Kefalonia, Naxos, or anywhere else. This is Sparta, and breaking Spartan law can get you killed. Believe me, Mater. I know exactly what breaking Spartan law gets you. Come. Let's go home. That training is ruthless. Not ruthless. Effective. The best of those boys will become Cryptia, keepers of the peace and stalkers in the night. Stalkers in the night? There's a reason Sparta never changes. It has rules and they are strict. Spartans rule Laconia, but most of its citizens are Ilotas, enslaved peasants made to work the fields and mines. Slaves? Why don't they revolt? Spartan fields keep them fed. Spartan warriors keep them safe. First from the Persians, and now from the Athenians. When they forget their place, the Cryptia are ordered to keep the peace. I see. Most of us make great sacrifices for comfort. Most. Not all. Watch it! You'll kill someone! Ella! Never thought I'd find myself back in Sparta. It looks so peaceful, despite the war raging elsewhere. This was the first and last place I ever felt safe. As soon as you were old enough to hold a spear, you trained in this yard from morning till night. Nikolaus was a tough teacher to please. He hid his pride from you. But every night he would tell me he's going to bring glory to Sparta. If you were a better man, he wouldn't have let go of me. My heart broke that day. But... If we are ever to heal as a family, we must stop reopening old wounds. Some wounds never close. Do you remember the first time you held your sister? <laughs> I was scared I'd break her. I piled every blanket and pillow we had around me. Even then, you held her so tight, I thought you would squeeze the life out of her. She turned out stronger than we thought. The gods must be playing tricks on my eyes. Good to see you, Vrasidas. It's been a long time since I rescued you from the warehouse fire in Corinth. <laughs> That's not how I remember it. You look well, Brasidas. The rumors were true. You're alive! Many we thought to be dead are still breathing. When I heard the two of you came home... We're in Sparta, but we're not home yet. We want our house back, Brasidas. Sparta claimed your estate after Nikolaos' disappearance. They're waiting for his adopted son to claim it. But he hasn't returned from the war. Stentor? Oh, I knew I should have killed him on the beach. What do we have to do to get it back? You'll need to negotiate your Spartan citizenship with the kings. It won't be easy. Why not? As happy as I am to see you, the kings won't be. Especially Achidamus. Your exit from Sparta wasn't exactly... graceful. He can't still be mad I broke his nose. You what? In any case, he hasn't forgotten. But I have an idea that might help him forgive. Tell us. Spartan soldiers have been giving weapons to the Ilotes. Whoever takes care of these traitors will earn his thanks. Why on earth would Spartan soldiers be helping Ilotes? Ilotes greatly outnumber Spartan citizens. But they're leaderless, mostly farmhands, servants, and apprentices. If someone unified them, arm them and train them, they'd be a real threat to Sparta. But you said it was Spartans who were arming them. 
All the more reason to deal with this quickly. You find out why the Ilotes are being armed, and you'll have the king's attention. Where will I find these Spartans? They were last spotted in the Gorani marble quarry, in the forest of Eurodas. So, I find the soldiers, then what? Spartans are loyal to their commander. Take him out, and the rest should disperse. And the weapons? Destroy them. The Elotes have caused enough trouble with shovels and sickles. <laughs> the last thing Sparta needs right now is them carrying swords. So, to get our house back, I must take out the Spartan commander responsible for inciting a useless rebellion. Sounds easy enough. Find me in the throne room when it's done. And where will you be? This is where I raised you. It's also where Leonidas raised me. I'm going to visit his tomb just beyond the estate. You should pay your respects too before you get started. I'll try. There you are. I can take you in to see the kings when you're ready. What do I need to know before I go in? Ah, that's right. You've never had an audience with the two kings. Kings Papsanias and Archidamos share rulership. Impress them both, and your home will be returned to you. I didn't expect this to be pleasant. What can you tell me about Pasanias? He's young. Don't mistake his smile for kindness. As with all kings, those who cross him learn to regret it. What should I know about Archidamos? Archidamos is a traditionalist. Not one to back down from a fight. He's also got a temper. Try to stay on his good side. Waiting won't make this easier. They won't look kindly on you asking for favors without offering some kind of help first. Like taking care of the soldiers arming the Ilotes. I'm tired of doing people favors. Let's get this over with. Come on then. Your mother's waiting inside. Another two squadrons to Vietir, then, as I said. Is that how they solve arguments? Sometimes. Archidamos' guard has improved. He should thank me. Prasidas, you've come with news. Let's hear it. My kings, may I present Merini, descendant of Leonidas, and her son, Alexios. I heard you'd come back. How dare you step foot on Spartan soil? I should cut it off for what you did. They helped us secure Curanthea, my king. I beg you to listen. They are descendants of Leonidas. For that reason alone, they should be allowed to speak. And if we don't like what they have to say, you can chop off any limb you see fit. Speak, Marini. Why are you here? 
I have returned to reclaim my Spartan citizenship. To reclaim our home. You exiled yourself. Your son killed an elder and ran. Not to mention the crooked nose he gave you. My family was betrayed, my king. Sparta was betrayed. We've come to expose these traitors. <laughs> you haven't cared for Sparta for many years. Your elders had both her children thrown off a cliff. They tore our whole family apart. Alexios, not him. But the minute she thought Sparta was in danger, she came back. She brought us both back to help. How dare you accuse her of not caring? I've heard your grandfather couldn't control his temper either. Marini has made her intentions known. What are yours? My intentions are to hunt down those who betrayed my family and Sparta and kill them. And who exactly do you think betrayed Sparta? That's what I'm here to find out. First, prove yourself loyal. Bring glory to Sparta and redeem yourself in the eyes of the gods. Until then, neither you nor your mother have a right to your lands. Tell me what I must do, and it will be done. The Spartan army fights the Athenians in Viotia. Join the commanders there. Come back victorious, or do not return. Consider the battle won. Spoken with the confidence of a child who hasn't seen real war. You will find my commander out of Mount Helicon. Give him this and tell him I sent you. Not so fast. Two kings, two tasks. Heracles completed twelve. Two shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> First Spartan thing you've said all day. The Olympics will be starting soon in Elise, and our fighting champion requires an escort. You want me to be an escort? I want you to make sure the Spartans return with a wreath. <coughs> That's how he'll bring glory to Sparta? By winning an event in the Olympics? Not an event, my king. By making sure Sparta wins the entire Olympics. <sighs> Perfect. One last thing. When you come asking a favor, it is customary to bring a gift. But you didn't. So now I will choose your gift for you. A wolf has been attacking farmers on the Discuri Peninsula. People say it's King Lacaon himself, cursed by Zeus to live out his days as a wolf. Your reports are out of date. I killed the wolf some time ago. He follows orders swiftly. We'll see if that's true when you get to Viatia. You have your orders. We'll see you when your tasks are completed. If they're completed. I'll get them done, and you'll give us back our home. There's some Spartan left in you after all. Brasidas. Show them out. Next! That went well. Considering you still have your head on your shoulders, yes, I'd say it went very well. The kings were generous to give us a second chance. And all I have to do is win the Olympics. And a war. Is there anything you need to know before setting off? What's going on in Viotia? The Athenian army is pushing Sparta back bit by bit. Winning won't be easy. If anyone can turn the tide there, it's you. What do you know about this fighting champion I'm supposed to take to the Olympics? The Pankratian fighter. His trainer will know where he is. My thanks. Things are not quite what they seem. But you must keep this champion safe at all costs to succeed. I will. One of the kings is a cultist. So, one of these tasks is surely a trap. But... which one? Brasidas? Wouldn't say that within earshot of the palace. But I fought with both of them. I can't believe either is a traitor. We need to find proof before we make any accusations. Keep your wow. eyes open. One of the kings is a cultist. Oh my god.
I think I'm ready. And you? What will you do while I'm gone? I received a message just before we went in. What kind of message? A clue to the whereabouts of another cultist. I'm going to Arcadia. Alone? The fates are smiling on us. I was ordered there. We can travel together. That would be helpful. My thanks. I'll meet you both in Arcadia then. Safe journeys. Oh my god. Now main missions are more interesting. Very good. I think not the first king, the second king is cultist. The king which is suggested, requested for me to go to these uh, Olympics. I feel like that. Well, of course, I am not sure. You're new. If it's training you want, we don't just take anyone. I'd appreciate training with a master such as yourself, but that's not why I'm here. Oh! King Pausanias asked me to bring the Pankration champion to Elise. Forgive me. I didn't know a royal messenger was coming. I'm Alcon, Testicles trainer. Alexios of Sparta. If I may offer some advice before you get him, Testicles can be... difficult. A gift of oil is known to put a person on his good side. Oil? A muscle rub. He believes it imbues him with the power of Heracles. Look in the village of Githion. His favorite merchant is there. Winning the wreath is important for Sparta. You think he can do it? The other day he knocked out six men and a bull. And he only went to the market to buy fruit. That's why I had to send him to the island. Where can I find your champion? I sent Testicles to train on a small island in the Bay of Hades. It's good for him there, isolated, away from people. Look for the shipwreck of Nestor on the southern shore. Can you tell me anything about Pankration? It's a mix of boxing and wrestling, a fearsome test of skill. Champions come from the farthest corners of the world to compete in Olympia, but not all walk away. I can't wait to see it. I need to get this champion of yours to Elise. I hope he lives up to your promise. Oh, he will. Look for his camp on the southernmost island in Messinia. Good luck. I should get that oil. Anything that will make it easier to get testicles to the Olympics. I just ordered some water guys so I need to stop a minute, 10 minutes later. Okay, good. I see her. Very good. Oh. 
Sorry, closed. I need oil. Then I'll be on my way. There is a special one that uh, Testicles uses. Ah, for Pankration fighters. That one has to be made fresh by the Master, and he's gone. I'm not leaving without it. You don't understand. I'm nearly free. You're a slave? Yes, and in a good position. Doing this would be stealing from him. Tell me, or I'll make you. Why would the Mystios care about a slave? I'll tell you, but not help you. Light a fire and gently heat oil of Athena. This will aid the infusion. Once the oil is warm, add myrrh. Thank you. I hope it's worth my freedom. Let's see if I can get this right. It had to be heated. Now, what oil did I need? Oil of Apollo? Sounds good. Now, what did I need? Just a bit of myrrh. Testicles is going to smell great. I hope he appreciates this. Ah, oh, it smells so good. I almost want to keep it for myself. That must be testicles. What do you want from the great champion Testicles? Can't you see I'm busy? I'm here to take you to the Olympics. Olympics? Fuck yeah! I'm going to be the champion. Champion! Cause I'm Testicles! Good. Let's set sail. Oh no. Can't possibly go now. Training, see? And I don't know if I'm up to going sailing on your booty. I have something for you. A certain oil. My oil? Oh, I could kiss you. No, you couldn't. Here's your oil. Ah. Wait, what is this stinking piece? Are you all right? Yeah. Actually feel much better. Cleared my head right up. No time for a little drink to celebrate. Yeah. Sail first. Drink later. To the Olympics! The people need me! Well, we going? Uh, you better fucking win.
Where is Alice? Huh? Uh huh. Alexios! Thrilled! Sparta! <laughs> Welcome to the Olympic Games! The party has officially begun! Alcibiades, I'm surprised you're wearing clothes. The day is young. <laughs> <laughs> Are you here to compete, Archibiades? Of course. I enjoy other physical exertions from time to time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> sure. <sighs> Who do you think will win the most race this year? I will! Athens will surely wow. rise. To the occasion. I say Messinia! Has the sea air addled your mind? Sparta always takes Pancration, and many others too. You might know a lot about the past, but you know little about the future. Who's that? That is Thoryevs, the reigning champion. He's bloodthirsty, competitive, and has endurance to spare. Jealous? I don't think so. We haven't come all this way to stand on the dock. Quite right. Should you ever need a personal sparring partner... You? A skinny little Athenian? I'm the champion! Or gonna be... Sparta! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a pity your brain isn't as big as your muscles. Let's get going. <laughs> I need to be oiled. Before I go to the games. Well, I would have been happy to assist if you were in any state to compete. I likes to be royal. Well, that's obvious. Yeah. You know us. Oh. Come here. Gives us a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Well, it looks like you're the champion now. I can't believe he's gone. Unprecedented. And 
You want me to compete in the Olympics? Stepping into a dead man's sandals. And testicles isn't even digested yet. Oh, come, dear Lexi. Show them what you're made of. And show me while you're at...
about it? Where do I go to fight in the Pagration? The stadium in Olympia, naturally. I do love a good rough and tumble. You know people die in these events. What else goes on apart from the Pankration? There's Javelin, which, of course, you know how that works. The athlete thrusts the long, smooth spear forward. Yes, I know. And then there's the foot races and the horse races. Sweat everywhere. A delight for the eyes and the nose. I need that wreath for Sparta. If it means I have to compete, so be it. The event doesn't start just yet. We could look around first. Olympia at Truce is quite extraordinary. What's wrong? My parents. Herodotos. I'm so sorry. I thought I'd be able to see them again. To show them my life's work. But now, I'm sorry to ask this of you. But could you take me to Samos? I need to pay my respects. Of course, my friend. Thank you. I'm not sure I could make this trip alone. I can't believe my parents are gone. Yeah! I always thought they'd be there, waiting when I return. Go to the Samos then. I'm sorry, I forgot to stop my microphone. This is it. How does it feel being back? It feels like... Uh, uh, words escape me. That's a first. To my eyes, it's home. The smells and sounds are familiar, but it's been so long. I don't know if I can do this. You've done more difficult things. Challenges we overcome always seem easier when they're behind us. What would you do? Hold my head high, walk with purpose, push those feelings of doubt aside. You're right. I suppose we should head to my family home first. Lead the way. Thank you. 
living near the docks was so exciting as a child. How so? There was always a new ship to see, new people to watch, from the sailors, often a new word to learn. <laughs> Most of which got me in trouble. I'm sure your mother remembered those days fondly. I know I do. So many faces I don't recognize. You've been gone a long time. Even so, I was hoping there'd be someone I know. Someone who'd remind me of my life before I left. We've only just arrived. It'll be okay. Here we are. This is where I called home for most of my childhood. Most? I came to Samos at a young age, but I was born in Aligarnassos. Those are days I'd rather not remember. Aligarnassos. It doesn't look like it's changed much in my absence. A tablet. Looks like some old writing. The ships never stay for long. Samos is a place people come for a visit, but not to live. Is there something about this place I don't yet see? One of my first writings. I was always restless here. Always wanting to learn more about the world beyond, and the world that was. This pottery looks special. My father always felt art was a great outlet when things seemed overwhelming. One of your toys? It was my brother's. I often hid it when he wouldn't let me play with it. Herodotus! Mistor! Praise the gods! It's been far too long! It has indeed. You're looking well. As are you, Theodorus. I can't believe you've come skulking back. After all this time, I should go. I'm glad you're back. <laughs> you have some nerve, little brother. You stroll back into this house when you didn't even return for the funeral. I regret ever sending you that letter. Why doesn't everyone just take a deep breath? How could you say I didn't come back when I'm here, right now? We came as soon as the letter arrived. You must have swam here then. It's been five moons since I sent that. And who are you exactly? How does any of this involve you? I'm a... He's a friend. Oh, how nice. You went off to write and explore while making friends. And you left me here to take care of everything. I couldn't stay here. I needed to leave. You could have taken me with you! I have things to attend to. One of us still cares about Samos. At least tell me where they died. We marked a spot on the nearby cliffs. Pay your respects, and then leave. There's nothing for you here now. like you at all. He means well. He's been here this whole time grieving and thinking I didn't care. This isn't your fault. Don't let him make you feel guilty. It's a bit late for that. I know this wasn't the welcome you were expecting. But perhaps it was the one I deserved. For now, I only want to see where they died. I owe that to them. I'll come with you. I'd like that. If you're ready, we should go. Waiting to face reality will do me no good.
used to know this island as well as my own home. Seems like a nice place to grow up. It was. I spent a lot of time on my own, or with Theodorus and Mistor. My parents are... were influential here. So they were often busy. But it wasn't a life for you. There's only so many ships you can see sail away as a boy. Before you feel the pool to leave. is where my parents last stood. Where fate decided to take them from us. I thought I'd write about their history on Samos and all they did one day. But not this soon. I should have been here. Should never have left. There is no point thinking about things you should have done. That doesn't help. But... You're not a fighter, Herodotus. You couldn't have stopped this. Perhaps you're right. I want you to remember that while we're on Samos. I'll try. I just wish I could have seen them once more. Do you have a favorite memory of them? I remember... When my father taught me to swim, he tossed me off the side of the dock. I thought I was going to drown, but then I saw what I thought was a shark. I flailed my arms and kicked my legs until I made it to shore, only to see it was Theodorus with a bit of rock above his head. <laughs> I still remember the sound of my father's laugh and the warmth of my mother's embrace. Did your parents like it on Samos? It was more than just a home to them. I saw how happy this place made them, and only wanted to feel the same somewhere as well. What did your parents think of your writing? They always encouraged it. It helped that Theodorus was talented as well, although he always felt more drawn to poetry. If it weren't for their support, there's a good chance I would have never pursued it. If there's anything you'd like to say about your parents, you should. I always feel more comfortable writing than I do speaking. I'm not going to judge. And I know they wouldn't either. They meant everything to me. They always encouraged me. I knew they'd be happy for me no matter what. I'm sorry I didn't come back sooner. There was so much I wanted to tell you, to show you. Mother, you were one of the strongest people I knew. You pushed for truth, no matter the obstacle. Father, your compassion is something I won't soon forget. You taught me it was okay to feel for myself and for others. Your names and deeds won't be forgotten. We should head back.
Watch out! Stay close! Belong here. I've never heard of the being on trouble. Something is going on. Maybe Theodorus will know. Followers of Ares here. I don't understand. The question is whether they came on their own or someone sent them. I can't wait much longer. Do you understand? Ah, you're back. I hoped you'd set sail already. Now isn't the time. We were just attacked. Gods cursed these warring Greeks. Was it the Athenians or the Spartans this time? Neither. It was a group called the Followers of Ares. Whoever it was, thank the gods you're okay. Have either of you heard of the Followers of Ares? Only in name. Who are they? They only care for one thing. War. And you believe they're here, on Samos? They're the ones who attacked us. Have you noticed anything suspicious lately? Strange ships docking, uh, groups of people you haven't seen before. No, things have been normal. It's been a welcome change. Something is happening here on Samos. We need answers. He's right. If the followers of Ares are here, there's a reason for it. Then it's another reason for you to go. We'll handle whatever is happening here. This is my home too. I'm not leaving until I get to the bottom of this. If it's not safe, you shouldn't stay. He's plenty safe with me. Of course. Come, mister. If this fool won't heed our warnings, it's not our concern. Oh, oh my god, I think the brother sent those people. They weren't much help. Something doesn't add up. How could Theodorus and Mister both know nothing? I think they were keeping something from us. But why? That's what we need to find out. What's next? If they're somewhere on this island, they'd stay away from the city. There was a cave I used to play in as a child. It may be worth looking into. Let's start there. No. Oh god.
I already uh, completed these. What the, why do I have to go there again? Unfortunately, the game is repeating itself. Even though that you are complete the places. Follow you in after you've finished. Killing everyone inside. Yes, that. So this is where they've been hiding. You are right to suggest we look here. But they've been dealt with. We still need to find out what they were doing here in the first place. Let's look around. Huh? Athenian and Spartan uniforms. They could have the people of Samos believe they were attacking from either side. I didn't take the followers of Ares to be lovers of poetry. They're not. This work... It's awfully close to the style Theodorus uses. Why would his writings be here? I didn't take them for the heirloom type. How did they...? That's our family's sigil. They must have stolen it. There's no way they could have found that on their own. It was given to them. Coins aren't like any I've seen before. I have. They're Persian. There's a list of names here. I recognize these names. They're all quite influential on Samos. But Missos is missing. I'm afraid to even say what I think is going on here. This island and these people are yours. Tell me what you're thinking. Persia wants to take control of Samos. It'd be a good staging ground for something greater. You're right. I only wish that was all there is to worry about. What is it? If Persia is involved, they couldn't have done this alone. They would have needed someone here to help them. Someone with ties to the Empire. And influence on Samos, yes. Other than myself, there are only two others who could be responsible for what's going to happen and for what already has. <sighs> you wrote those. With everything we've found, everything you've seen and heard, please, 
Just tell me which of them it is. Only Mestor's name is missing. It's Mistor. He brought the followers of Ares here to help Persia. I was afraid you'd say that. But I know you must be right. What do you want to do now? I need to talk to the others. I don't understand why he'd do this. Dragmi can be a powerful motivator. As can the promise of power. But he already had both of those. I know you want to understand it all. But we don't always get the answers we seek. Why have you not left already? That's enough. Put away your disdain for me for one moment and listen. We found where the followers of Ares were hiding. And we know who they're working for. And who is that? Mistor. He's in league with the Persians to take over Samos. That can't be! We aim to free Samos from control of this war, but we never spoke of giving it to the Persians. Then he kept that part from you. I... I'll find out on my own. Theodoros! I know you care deeply for your brother, but this isn't finished. We tasked ourselves with protecting Samos, and it's not yet safe. We need to go after him. Where to? To find Mistur, and Theodorus too. I guess Mistur knows we're onto him. Where's Theodorus? What? Careful. Don't want to be caught here. What the? 
that doesn't look right. Just my imagination.
other way. You should be safe now. Where's Mistor? After he ordered me locked up, he left. Seemed impatient. Ah, uh, Theodorus. It seems you were right. I thought Mistor and I wanted the same thing. But he was just using me. It hurts he did this. I know. I've treated you terribly. You just remind me of everything I didn't get to do. And of the past. But you didn't deserve it. Samos should thank the gods they have someone like you fighting for them. They'll know of all you did here. We may have lost one brother today, but we found each other again. You know what needs to be done now, right? Unfortunately, I do. You can stay behind if you want. I can do it myself. No, I need to see him. I need to know why he did this.
Okay, okay, you got me. How could you do this? After everything our family did for you? They took you in, and you had them killed. That was an unfortunate accident. I promise you, I weep for their deaths every day. I can't trust anything you say. Why trick Theodoros into helping you? Allies are hard to come by, and Theodoros was more than willing. Tell me what the Persians are planning. Samos would make a good stronghold, don't you think? You betrayed Samos! Your family! Not You're... everything is black and white. Sometimes, people need others to make the best decision for them. And they're giving me Samos to rule. It doesn't matter now. The followers of Ares working for you are dead. Everyone will know what you did here. I'll make sure of it. Oh, I hope you do. I've always wanted my name to be remembered. However, you may not want to start writing just yet. What do you mean? The ships are already on their way. Let him go. We need to stop the ships. I'll meet you there. Come 
Samos is safe. What about Mistor? After his failure, he won't get a second chance. Plus, there's no way he'd stay on Samos now. Theodros has changed. He is the Theodoros I remembered. He was always willing to admit fault. It's a trait too few people share. Then you believe things will be okay? Even if you leave Samos again? Of course. Theodoros has work to do here. And he understands mine is elsewhere. Good. Thank you for everything, Alexios. Without you, I couldn't have gotten through this. They'll keep a sharp watch here. Look at all these people. What do they need in their lives? Some excitement. A little magic. And you think you can deliver that? Magic. Thespis? Are you acting in another play? Ali... Allo... Alexios! Aristophanes' friend! And my friend, too. I'd be nowhere without your support. I suppose if I hadn't carried you out, you might still be in that tavern. On the floor! Thespis had this brilliant idea to put on a play in this town. He's got a reputation as a great actor, so I thought... This could be a huge success! I'm beginning to think I thought wrong. No, no, everything is under control. You keep an eye on the ticket sales, my darling Rodanti. And my friend Alexios will take care of everything else. I promise you, I know nothing about theater. Don't be so modest. You'll be known as the hero who made Leonidas and his 300 Spartans the play of the century. The play is about King Leonidas? You know, my family... Your family can come, of course. I'm sure they'll be proud to see you. Just help me tell that glorious hero's tale. I'll help Thespis put on the play. The story of Leonidas must have its due. Very well, then. I expect you to deliver. So what do you need done? Bring wine! Not for me, for our audience. So you think the audience won't listen to the tale of Leonidas unless they're drunk? They won't be drunk, just appreciative. Where are you keeping the wine? Well, I had wine, but then the local military commander commandeered Hey, I should put that in the script. 
the Persian commander commandeered the, uh, casks. That's it. Then I'll have to re-commandeer it myself. Where is this commander? He kept the expensive wine and left the rest for his soldiers. An ordinary audience might be content with the cheaper drink. If we serve the best wine, we could get a more sophisticated audience. It might be harder to get to, but worth it. You speak my language! Better wine could mean a more generous crowd. Where are the two pla- I'll take care of everything. There's the stables. The wine in there should be good enough for horses, at least. Huh? You're not supposed to be here! That's the wine Thespis wanted me to bring for the audience. It doesn't smell great, but it should be reasonable. found your wine. Wonderful! Our guests will be in a fantastic mood before the play even starts. I sampled the wine. It's not vinegar, at least. Maybe I can offer some discounted tickets in the poorer parts of town. So, when will I be able to see this play? Well, there's a little complication with the cast. Finding them, I mean. You've lost your actors? None of them showed up at the last rehearsal. And the time before that, they seemed terribly discouraged. Someone might have been too harsh with them. No one will get paid if they don't come back. Exactly. There's three of them in all. They're playing Ephialtis, Xerxes, and the Enikis. I can give you an idea of where they might be. So, who's playing Leonidas? I am, of course. I trust no one but myself to carry the starring role. So Xerxes, king of the Persians, is in your play? Yes, and I found a tremendous actor to play him. He plays marvelous villains. He did mention that the Dispontian ruins were inspiring him. The Anikis. That was Leonidas' favorite lieutenant. Yes, and played by a charming young fellow. A bit of a nervous type, though. I was surprised when he told me he was going gambling in the great square here in Elise. So the traitor, Ephialtes, is missing. What a surprise. Usually, my good friend Tros is dedicated to his craft. 
but the last time we spoke, he seemed touched by a certain religious fervor. He said he would pray at the spring of Piera. So the traitor, Ephialtes, is missing. What a surprise. Usually, my good friend Tros is dedicated to his craft. But the last time we spoke, he seemed touched by a certain religious fervor. He said he would pray at the spring of Piera. I hope the actors turn up. When you find our actors, send them back to me. And do your best to encourage them. Our performance will be terrible if the actors' hearts aren't in it. And that means no one will pay us. Got it. I should be careful. High security here. Please. Please, dear gods, can anyone help? Those Atlas swine have ruined me! Ruined! Divine winds have brought your cries to me. Tell me what you need. Amazing. Please, friend. Filthy bandits attacked me and stole all of my belongings. My tools are worthless to them, but invaluable to me. I am ruined. Unless you help... Point me towards these thieves. And I will bring the heavens down upon them. Praise Zeus. I am the artist, Podiklitos. Hunt down the bandits and recover my prize tools. Wait. What is your name, Mystios? I am called Alexios. By the gods. Could it be true? What? No, nothing. Please, recover my tools and I'll see you rewarded. A loco ton tamala.
I found your tools. I can't believe it. Maybe you really are from Olympus. Yes, I am of the blood of Olympus. Amazing. Maybe those villagers from Lenu Farm had it right. That is where I'm going now. And I could use an escort. What can you tell me about this village? Lenu is a small region of devout villagers and farmers. Hard-working people. Very serious in their beliefs. They hired me to make them a sculpture of, well, the Eagle Bearer. Really? Why? They know your name and your deeds, and believe you to be their savior. Why did you think I carried the blood of Olympus in my veins? Your reputation precedes you, and the villagers of Linu can't stop talking about you. Lead me to Linu Farm. I'll make sure you get there safely. Excellent. I'm sure they will honor you with gifts and riches. Then let's go. How did you learn of this village? My doctrine on beauty is renowned. Village priestesses came to my home in Argos and begged me to come and fashion a figure for them. You came all the way from Argos? They offered come on, come on. me. It's not easy being an artist, you know. What is the statue going to look like when you are done? Well, you, I suppose. Me? They worship the eagle bearer. They told me lots of stories. A pretty fair description, though I expected you to be taller. And to have a smaller nose. This theory of yours, who determines what is beautiful? Mass. Mass. Exactly. Beauty is an equation derived from the commensurability of all the parts of the body. From finger to finger. Fingers to the palm and wrist. Those to the forearm and the forearm to the upper arm. And like that, to include the whole of the body. Huh. Math. Gratitude, friend. You saved my hide. And you've given me great reference. Let us talk to the priestess Exioni and be properly welcomed. Good Polyclitos. You made it. Priestess Exioni. My journey was a test from the gods. But look what miracle they have delivered. Who is this? I am Alexios. The Mystios you told me about. He appeared like a bolt from Zeus and rescued me from road bandits. The Eagle Bearer. This is an unexpected honor. Glad to visit. Uh, how have you heard of me? Certainly you jest. Your deeds are carried along the winds and sung through the stars. We are but a poor village, but your being here gives us hope to cling to in this hard world. And soon there will be a statue to capture a hint of your glory. To have our patron walk among us and give us divine fortune is a wonder. We will be eternally blessed. You do me a great honor. I am pleased to walk among your people. Oh, thank you, Eagle Bearer. There are many humble servants here who could benefit from your attention. Tell me their names. Uh, there is a separatist, Herifil. You can find her near the stable south of here. Akatos, the hunter, who has a small house on the west end of the village. And Menarkas, a young farmer. His fields are to the east. Who is this shepherdess, and what's her story? Herifil tends a small herd of goats. Recently, she had a scare in the forest and lost two of her flock to wolves. What can you tell me about the hunter? Hmm. Akatos is worried he cannot provide for the village since he recently injured himself. Perhaps you could ease his fears. Priestess. Who is the farmer? Mm. Menalcas fears he is cursed. A visit from the eagle bearer could restore his faith and purpose. I will see what I can do for your people. Not my people, divine eagle bearer. We priestesses are but humble servants of your exalted greatness. When you have spoken to them, find me. My sisters and I want to prepare a proper celebration for your portentous visitation. Huh. 
Kere, what is wrong, my friend? Are you really the high soaring eagle bearer? I have descended from the heights of Olypos to visit Lunu Farm and see the good people for myself. Amazing. A blessing. I am small and not worthy of your attention. I'll hear no more deprecations. The priest has told me you had a problem. Out with it. I have shamed myself. Normally I hunt for my family and to provide for the village. But the other day I slipped and wrenched my ankle badly. I, I can barely walk. I am unworthy of your attention. You are not at fault for your injury. Go on. My daughter Mirto insisted she would go into the woods and hunt for me. She's brave, but still inexperienced. She has been gone long, and I grow worried. I'll find her. Yes, well, it certainly is me. You are a shepherdess? You, you know me! You know me so well! Tell me what happened. I was herding my flock when it was horrible. Wolves, blood and screams everywhere. Did you get hurt? No, you protected me. I did? I carry your totem to pray to, to watch over me. But... I was so scared, I dropped my totem as I ran. I can look for your totem. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where were you attacked? I was leading my flock to pasture through the forest south of the city. I know others have heard of wolves howling there on many nights, but I took a chance. Tell me about this totem. It's a simple thing. An eagle of rough wood and crudely fashioned. It does not come close to capturing your divine glory. But still, it has kept me safe until now. Ah, I... Uh, wish it had protected you better. No! It is I who must apologize to you for losing it. I feared you would be angry with me. No, no, of course not. Don't worry, I'll look for your lost totem. Why have you forsaken me, Eagle Bearer? What have I done to offend all the powers on Olympus? How can I redeem myself? Forsaken you? I don't think we've ever met. Eh? Who? You? You? Yes, me. Tell me what's wrong. I have been cursed by the gods. They speak to me all day and night, filling my head with visions and fears. I cannot work and my crops wither. Why did the gods curse you? I do not know what I did. I've heard the voices of the gods day and night since I took over the farm after my father passed. The voices won't let me sleep, nor rest, and the farm is so much work. What is the curse? The gods speak of terrifying things. That the sky will open and drown the fields and my farm. That dark, writhing things will come from the ground and feast on my crops and on my flesh. ...that the Earth will open and swallow us whole. I'll take a look around the farm and see if I can find out what has befallen you. Thank you, Eagle Bear. You are of Olympus. They will listen to you. But first I must determine if this is truly the work of the gods... ...or if your plight is of a more... ...earthly nature. The water in this pot reeks like the sticks. Maybe the disease is seeping into the water. This seems like an earthly cause, not a sign of the gods. Hmm. These crops stink. Could that rot affect the mind? Huh. I wonder if all the crops in the silo are the same. These vases were dedicated to the gods. If Menarchos broke them, the gods might be angered. The meteor and Dionysos might have sickened his crops and polluted his mind. Look at this little guy. These offerings look abundant and long neglected. Not a good way to honor Demeter or Zeus. Menalkes is a sad case. Thinks he's been cursed by the powers that be. I told him that's ridiculous. 
Why ridiculous? Because if you wanted to punish him, you'd just smite him or have an eagle fly down and eat his eyes or the like. Huh? You wouldn't curse his harvest. I wouldn't? Of course not. You're the eagle bearer. Arrow of Apollo. Shield of Ares. Child of Zeus. Not the master of blighted crops. That's beneath you. So Menalcals' problems are caused by... Some kind of sickness in the crops. That's what's making him crazy. I think I've seen everything. Is Menalcas affected by the gods, or is there a more earthly cause to his illness? I should talk to him. Eagle Bearer, do you know why the gods have cursed me? I think some infestation has taken root in your crops and is polluting your mind. What do we do? How do we appease the gods? This has nothing to do with the gods. I will set fire to the silo where you keep your harvest, and burn out the rot to clear your mind. I... I hope you are right, Eagle Bearer. All that work, gone to smoke. No one said it would be easy. It had to be done. I confess, I do feel a bit better already. Thank you for all your help and guidance. Put this as far listen and love you. You're welcome. You welcome, you welcome, you welcome, you welcome. I'm not commenting to my videos guys. Because generally I just think that this is kind of a you know movie scene and I do not wanna disturb it. Um Spore. They must den near here. Jerry Phil must have dropped this basket when the wolves attacked. Blood trail. The pack went this way. One of Jerry Phil's flock. Or what's left of him after the wolves' breakfast. That must be the den of the wolves that attacked Jerry Phil's flock. Worth a look. Drag this bag here, almost like it was driven. Ah, here is the totem. Go on, yeah, yeah. Come on! Glorious Eagle Bearer, the priestess said you burned the wolves from the forest with the fire from Ephestos Forge. How did she know that? She divines the signs of your adventures from the sacred flames. She said you found my totem. It was luck that I was able to find it. The wolves had dragged it deep into their den. Here you go. Gratitude, Eagle Bearer. Would you bless it for me? You don't need my blessing. Just watch the world around you. And you can call me Alexios. Thank you, Eagle... Alexios. Alexios. Off we go. Ah! <laughs> 
must be Akatos's daughter, Myrto. Yes, who are you? I am Alexios. The eagle batter? These woods can be dangerous for common folk. Your father grew worried at your absence and begged me to find you and keep you safe. I can't believe it. I hope you aren't disappointed in me. No, child. You honor your father. I've tried to follow his lessons, but hunting is hard. I've had no luck getting the special deer meat he runs. I'm worried he'll be so disappointed in me. Yeah, hunting is hard. Tell you what, you return home so Akato stops worrying, and I'll hunt for the meat you need. I will do as you say, Eagle Better. Come on. Eagleberg, I cannot thank you enough. Alexios, did you find enough meat? Providing for you is a simple task. Enjoy my bounty and share it with your village. Alexios hunts like Apollo himself. Show respect, child. Yes, Pater. It was my pleasure. Be well. I think that's everyone Priestess Exioni mentioned. Time to find her again. <sighs> Wondrous Eagle Baron. Your name and glory drop from everyone's lips. My sisters and I wish to throw a grand festival in your honor. You will be the cherished guest. If you insist. However, there is one more who could benefit from your attention. Halkipi frets about her brother. In truth, he is a strange one, touched by madness. Or perhaps a chosen of the gods. Ah, here she is now. Speak to her, reassure her, and then we will celebrate. By the gods, it's you. It's me. It's you. By the gods, my prayers are answered. Speak to the eagle bearer, my child. You have come to help me. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Ah, yes, of course. It's my brother, Kalistratos. 
He's always been a bit odd, but this past year, I think the gods have cursed him. Ah, oh, that is... I don't mean to offend. Uh, go on. Your brother? My brother's farm is a small way from the village. Always doing his own thing. I haven't seen him for days, but when I went to pass by, I heard terrifying noises. I think something might have happened, but I'm not brave enough to go see. I'll take a look for you. Thank you. Thank you. What can you tell me about your brother? Kalistratos always tries some new scheme or crazy idea. His last one was to breed chickens that would lay giant eggs. Each egg to feed a family, he said. And he'd sell them far and wide and become rich. What do you think happened to Kalistratos? I don't know. Maybe a lion or wolf got into the farm. Terrible noises nearly scared my hair white. I'm sure whatever it is would be no match for you, mighty eagle bearer. I pray he's all right. Where is your brother's farm? He has a large farmstead northeast of here. He doesn't take very good care of it, though. Always caught up in some crazy scheme. I'll visit your brother's farm and see what's going on. Get up! Those who saved your life. You could say thanks. Huh. Not sure you had to kill my best chickens, though. Watch your tongue, little man. I came on behalf of your sister, who showed proper respect. Don't make me angry. So tell her I'm fine already. Hmm. Maybe I can get a goat from Masara and catch a lion and breed them somehow. Maybe with a snake. I'm sure I could make a fortune. Hunters are better than one. Ella. Yeah! Alkipi, <laughs> your brother is something else. But he's alive, and I suppose well. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. Yes, <laughs> he is a difficult one. But you have answered my prayers. I will always be your devoted servant. Uh... The priestesses have begun preparing a great feast in your honor for all of Linu to celebrate you. It will be magnificent. Alexios, Calamity. Myrto has been struck down by illness. Take me to her. The girl was thrilled about the idea of the festival to honor you. She was rushing about, buzzing with excitement, when she suddenly collapsed. Please, Igelberger, can you do anything for her? Did anyone see anything? Does she have any wounds? No, no insect or snake bites, but her brow burns with fever. What was Myrto doing when she got sick? 
She was preparing the meat you brought in for the festival, but the priestess's instructions. Where is Priestess Axioni now? I don't know. I overheard her calling out for help, telling people not to be scared, but she's vanished. That's strange behavior. I'll ask around and see if anyone else knows anything, and see if I can't find the priestess. What did I do to offend you? Nothing. I just want to know if you saw what happened to the girl, Myrto. I saw the girl steal a taste of food for your feast, and she fell ill. She tasted it? Yes. I'm sorry. Please don't punish me. What? No. Of course not. Please, I told you all I knew about the girl stealing a bite of your feast. Greyhair, where can I find the priestess Exione? You must know. The priestess and your sisters have a secluded retreat. None know where it is, for it is hidden from common eyes. I cannot say more for risk of offending them or you. Those women do not speak for me. Tell me now, or I'll get angry. Yes, yes. They appear from and retreat to a secret den past the border to Elise. Time to have words. So nowadays the problem is there are so many games, there is Xbox this discounts well and there are defended. so many games to play. Yeah. Uh, pff, this is the problem. Mother I mean if a game is over 100 hours then you know what do you Cedar. think. What? Why well, I cannot pay for my debt, for my uh, head money. Oh my god. Exione, why did you flee from the village? I left to consult with my sisters. We needed to understand why the poor girl was struck down. Did Lenu offend the divine eagle bearer somehow? Or are we being tested by greater powers of Olympus? <sighs> are the gods testing our faith? Or yours? Do not speak in riddles. Tell me what you mean, or face my anger. Wrathful Eagle Bearer, we want only what you want. I want to know what happened to Myrto and how to help her. We prayed for an answer, and it was delivered. In the sacred cave, there is a plant that can save her, but it is too dangerous for us mere mortals to descend into. I'll go get it. Brave Eagle Bearer, your path leads you to the sacred cave. Fierce Eagle Bearer, the answers you seek are there. Divine Eagle Bearer, find the truth. Oh, 
by Zeus. That's a beast. The priestesses expect me to become bear shit? Malakis. First the bear, then the god. I get the feeling the priestesses were hoping for a martyr god, not a pissed off Mystios. Got it. Wait. This plant is nothing but pig feed. It won't do anything. Malaka! Oh my god. They were not serious then. Exione! I killed your bear! You're here! You're alive! Very much so. And then yeah, what do you think? You better have an antidote for poor Mirto, or else. <laughs> or what? I will kill. You used my name to try to control the village, and when I arrived, you poisoned Mirto, and then tried to have me eaten by a bear. No, never. Yes, it's all true. <sighs> Shut your mouth, you insipid! Give me the antidote, Exione, before I turn you all into slugs and bury you in salt! Uh. Good. Now, return the wealth you've stolen to the village, or I'll make you wish you pissed off Ira instead of me. No! Eaglebearer! As you command! At once! We obey! Go! Do it! Why do I have this cough cat, man? I cannot pay it. What's the deal? <sighs> Why I cannot pay? There are so many games to play, as I said. Uh, I have a lot of horror games um, I'm planning to play. the medicine for Mirto. Quick, let's give it to her. Alexios? Shh, rest. You did it. That was close. You need to talk to the villagers. Listen and hear my voice. I have saved Mirto, and I wish to bless you all. Pray hard and care for each other, and you will prosper. Thank you! Thank you, Eagle Bearer! It may take me years to finish your statue, but I'll make sure it's perfect in every way, just like you. I'm a lady. Ah, oh. what's this man? Oh, my God.
basically I will do these missions I think this game will not finish for us. <laughs> uh, I think I can finish in one year. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, why? man Oh no. Because I do not wanna go to castle. Oh. And bad thing is everyone is respawned here because I already cleaned up here and I have to clean up again. So then I, I spend whole time for nothing, you know? Now I'm very angry about the game. I don't think I could have survived much longer. Why were those Malakas keeping me prisoner? They were raving, convinced I'm the villains I play. They wanted me to lead them into a dark ceremony and tortured me to recite their spells. Nothing was enough. You're safe now. I am. But the witch has plans to harm the citizens of Elise. She says they wrong with her, so she poisoned the shipment of supplies for the city. I'll have to destroy those supplies before they get there. But now that she knows you're here, she'll leave her hiding place and flee into the wilderness. No one will be safe if she escapes. I can't let the witch escape. Who knows what she'll do next? Where is... I have to. Come here. Hey, Hobos. Run, 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 run. Run. Are you serious, man? 
Off. Off, off, off. Come on, man. Come on, we have to be fast. Come on! Another ruins. Perfect. That horrible witch won't hurt anyone ever again. Oh, thank you. That delusional hag turned her followers against me. But now that she's dead, I should be fine. Right? You'll be fine. You should go on and play your part knowing Xerxes is safe. You're right. Xerxes was sure of himself. A god amongst men. I should be as confident as him. I'm glad you see it that way. You should get back to Thespis. I will. And thank you. Xerxes will rule at last! Happy to have helped, your majesty. Very good. Okay guys, I think that's it for today. I have to go and then we will continue it here. Uh, with these missions and then we will see thanks for watching and see you in the next episode